Hello everyone, Love 13 Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome back to more monster monster prob. Ooh. Alright, so we wanted to go to the store. Hey, stranger. hey, last night I read this article on how money causes pocket cancer in the long term. Uh, and you don't want to get pocket cancer, so quick, uh, give me that dangerous money you have in your still healthy pockets. Ooh. Power Totem of Zorgod, Ruler of the Dark Realms. Not quite sure if it's safe for the school and the entire fabric of reality. I had to sell this to high schoolers, but a girl needs a new pair of badass boots. Only be 10 bucks. Dragon Heat, a classic. It's cheesy and stupid that you just can't stop reading it. Never thought I would say this, but I'm super into dragon abs and then a dead body. Um, gift. Eh. I guess we'll... You want this, you sick pervert? I had no idea you appreciated good old reverse Romanian Wilkinson. Must admit, it's kind of hot that you're into that kinky shit. Uh... With this, you can murder your enemies, go to prison, and make everyone your bitch, and then murder them too, and go to some kind of super prison, street cred 9000. I'm just gonna take the power totem. You know what? All profits made are donated to a good cause. Spoiler alert, the good cause is buy me a new phone. Sweet. Alright, I have it. I don't know what it's gonna do. I don't know if that's gonna change anything, but... Let's do this. Um, I need more money. That day, you've spent some time on the library's PC managing your start kicker. For boom. You deceive a lot of people with some sensationalist videos and impossible promises. Nice. You gained 100,000 money, but almost everything goes to cover the cost, so you only got to keep two of it. Later, you're still strutting your stuff with your new totem, when it attracts some unwanted attention. Hey, what a little, what a cute little dark deity totem you're rocking. Oh, it's so tiny and sweet compared to the dark gods of the ocean. Poor helpless little totem. Blood gushes forth from the totem's eyes, streaking its face with a sinister red. Oh no, it's hungry, poor little guy. Oh, is that it, cutie patootie? Are you hungry? The totem's mouth stretches open farther than it can physically, physically should be able to, and a swarm of locusts bursts forth. Oh, we need to find that guy a yummy for his tummy sacrifice. No princesses, though. I'm sure that's not what it wants anyway. The totem burns fiery hot and icy cold at the same time. Aw, you better find a great little sacrifice for the widow deity. It'll make all the gals so happy, too. Um, start a gigantic bonfire of weed. Be self-sacrificing. Sacrifice yourself. Oh my gosh, you're gonna sacrifice yourself, my hero. I'm terrified of you. Genuinely. Uh, yeah, not gonna lie, that's kinda hot. The totem glows fiery red, eager in anticipation of your blood sacrifice. You casually chop off your own limbs. Heck yeah, hardcore. The totem stares at your limbs unmoving. Your weak little limbs do nothing for the power of a dark deity. If the totem had a nose, it'd be turning it up at you, metaphorically speaking. Um. Awkward. Deeply ashamed, you have the girls help gather up your severed limbs and carry them back to nurse chupacabras. She manages to put you back together pretty easily, but the dark deity totem is pissed. You lose two fun and one charm. Man. Alright, fine. The weed bonfire would have probably been a better idea. Who are you? Bride of Frankenstein? You sit down and enjoy a nice, normal meal at the spooky high cafeteria, as usual. <laughs> well, JK, something effed up is always going on here, and today is no different. Hello, Amara. Did you want to come sit with us and, and our um, imaginary friend, no one else is here? Their imaginary friend roars and the whole cafeteria shakes. Oh, Amara, you have some smarts. You're probably going to figure this out pretty quickly. Yeah, I have some. 
I have like no charm though. Why do we have a wild beast under our table? Well, why don't you take a, gre a guess? Uh, he's asking you to guess because we totally forgot our plan. Scott, no, we didn't. Shut up. Oh, he's blushing. We're going to teach him the piano or maybe the saxophone. I don't know. I lost my notes. No worries. No notes needed. You know exactly what they should do with this wild beast. Um, let the wild beast... Uh, the wild beast should be the new team mascot. Put him in a sports jersey. Let him rock. Go team. Um, it's obvious that you brought such a beast to the kitchen. Turns out to be the next Monster Chef champion. So you can split the big Monster Chef cast prize. What a kick-ass idea. Which is obviously yours. You're right. That was our idea. Hooray. We're geniuses. I just... Oh, God, sorry. Doing both of their voices back-to-back -back kills my throat. I just have what we need here. Training montage music. That might help. Switching his voice a little. Suddenly, you start a training montage in which the three of you try your best to teach cooking to the wild beast. You suck at it since you're not big chefs yourself and also because it's a wild beast and it keeps on devouring people and wreaking havoc. But it's quite an epic training montage. Afterwards, you're all sitting excitedly in front of your portable TVs. The Monster Chef show is about to start. You're holding cute supportive signs. <laughs> you even got yourself a custom-made t-shirt of the Wild Beast. Oh. Whoa, this is the big day. Also, how is it that we train the Wild Beast and now it's on the show as if it's still noon and the cafeteria time hasn't ended? <coughs> Ugh. Shh, Scott Time works in mysterious ways When it comes to our training montages Okay boys I only hope it isn't a Souffle challenge We know the wild beast isn't good at souffles The wild beast isn't good at anything Aside from devouring people and wreaking havoc You quietly watch the show The challenge is Beef Wellington Heck yeah no souffle not so surprisingly, once the challenge begins, the wild beast just starts devouring the other contestants and destroys the show's set. You see the judges screaming, who the F let a wild beast in enter the competition? The wild beast is disqualified. Well, I guess that's it. We might not have won the cash prize, but at least we won the most valuable of prizes. The prize of laughing at our wild beast effing up everything in the Monster Chef set, which is a memory we will cherish forever. Is Damien re ready to cherish memories that include you? Wowee. Yeah, I think I might have to increase my charm. How does one do that? Let's do this. Um. Oh, it would be. Oh, God. All right. Um. Well, my creativity blows, too. That day you were rehearsing for the class play. It's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you figurative oral sex. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two creativity. Later, you see Damien packing a bag. Oh. God, I'm way more attracted to you suddenly. Um... I'm going away for the weekend to detention. To fucking detention again. Why? Just because I rigged the teacher's lounge door with booby traps that poured celcubus on whoever opened it. I mean, I didn't even set anything on fire this time. Let me spill the tea. This school is strict as fuck. <laughs> anyway, just brainstorming some ways to keep things entertaining beyond fucking ditching. Do it. Just ditch. Do it. Cross species, economic, and social barriers to make lifelong friends with a diverse group of students in detention and find out through silly dancing that you're not so different after all. I think he'll like ditching better. Damn, why did I think of that? I mean, I did. I just did, but I didn't consider it as a serious option. If I skip detention, what are they going to do? Give me detention? I can do anything. Make a bonfire out of desks, jerk off into potions. And I'll just skip detention forever and wreak as much havoc as I want. Fuck you, havoc. Well, you may have created a monster, but 
At least he's your monster. You gain plus two smarts and one boldness. Hey, my boldness is through the roof. All right, week five morning. All right, um, I need to get my charm up. That day at recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there were like 300 people there. Someone summons demons from the nightmare dimension and the consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a pretty rad party. You gain plus two fun. Oh, that wasn't it. Later, Polly and Miranda are watching your adorable little dark deity totem melt the faces off of passerbys when... Oh, thank God you found the totem. Hand it over quickly. Whoa, dudes, chill out for a sec. Hmm, whatever seems to be the matter. We're off to have a lovely picnic with our dearest totem friend, little buddy. <laughs> your totem is Zilgord? Ruler of the Dark Realms, an ancient of destruction. We must dispose of the totem before the world suffers. Um, rude. Truly, though, what have you ever done to earn our friendship? This totem has been here for us whenever we needed it. Yeah, when I ran out of ketamine, little buddy made sure a dealer dropped dead in the club with full pockets. So I could have just as much as I wanted. It was delish. It was ketamalicious. When a suitor brought me the wrong flowers, little buddy made his eyes and teeth melt out of his face. The totem purrs happily, which sounds like the shrieking of a thousand cows dying of famine. Literally, every time I think you guys can't make worse choices, you somehow make worse choices. I've done worse. The coven prepares to attack. Their sights set on your precious totem. You better think fast. Swallow it and keep it in your belly. Use sleight of hand to make the totem disappear. Thinking quickly, you all but unhinge your jaw and swallow the totem. Damn, and I thought I could swallow. Huh? Ugh, don't worry about it, hon. How? What? Why would you do this? You just swallowed a dark deity. Do you not understand the repercussions? Um... Did you not hear the part where the totem makes a lot of cool shit happen for us? Why would we give that up? For the fate of the world. The three of you exchange glances. Nah, it doesn't sound like a good reason. You are truly... Oh, shoot. That's the coven's signal. We need it. We're needed elsewhere. With that, they disappear. You're safe, little buddy. It's okay to come out now. The dark deity totem floats up your throat and out of your mouth. It hovers in the air for a moment, glowing sinisterly, before falling back into your hand. Oh, how is it so cute? The totem lives another day, uh, and possibly destroys the world, so you gain plus two creativity and one boldness. Where do I get charm? My charm sucks. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm not hanging out with the coven and these... Yeah, no, screw that. I don't even know who you are. All right, let's see what our book burners have. When you reach Liam and Damien's table, you find it absent of food, but covered in paperwork. Do we really need these special forms? Can't we just write death threats on regular people? And for the last time, Damien, substantive change within the administration system requires mastery of the mechanisms of bureaucracy. Huh? What if we wrote death threats on really fancy paper. I think kind of is how that works anyway. Liam turns to address you. As you can see, my mastery of real politic has caused me to embrace an unlikely ally in my quest for reform. I see this. I have no idea what he's saying. I just want the cafeteria food to stop being so fucking boring. He's saying he's turning to you when he normally wouldn't to solve his problems because you might actually get things done. You see, our interests are aligned. I, too, desire a menu less pedestrian. Sure. Either way, we're stuck on the last bit. We don't know what we want the menu to... We know that we want the menu to change, but we don't know what we want it to change to. Yes, we have indeed encountered a culinary block. Perhaps you can suggest something appropriately artistic? Bowl of knives, essence of knives. A white plate with a single sprig of parsley in the center and the essence of minimalism. <laughs> now that's interesting. I knew he'd like the knives. Hmm, knives seems a bit didactic. Well, 
We'll see how didactic it is when I'm stabbing faces full with bowls, with a bowl full of knives. You don't know what the word didactic means, do you? Nope. But I know how funny it'll be to watch a bunch of nerds try to finish off a bowl of knives. Damien's application to add knives to the menu is a success, and he starts holding daily knife-eating contests. There are no winners except Damien, who thinks it's hilarious. And you, who came up with this. Fair enough. Man, we're getting close to the Let's end date. Can we do the gym? That would get me smarts. That gets me creativity. So charm has got to be like the gym. All right, we'll do it. That day in an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirits, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. You gain plus two charm. There we go. You join Miranda and Damien's teams for game two. It goes differently. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I like his outfit as much, but her uh, her sports outfit is adorable. Come on, shit dicks. Face the power of hell. Paint this battlefield red, Damien. Grind them all into a thin red paste. You express your worry and confusion over the other members of the corpses in the gym. Is this supposed to be, you know, a friendly game? Friendly? What the fuck is friendly? I only have two words in my vocabulary. Kill and murder. Honor, glory, feudalism. Those are all the words we will fight for. And those are the words we will die for. I worry about you. Well, you didn't sign up to die. You gotta stop this before it turns into an FPS or something. I disagree. Get off my nuts, narrator. You don't understand the ancient reasons for dodgeball slaughter. Many have died before us, but we won't. Guys, it's dodgeball. Let's just throw a ball and have fun. But we won't waver. Fine, be that way. Bring it on. You cock your shotgun. Why do you have a shotgun? And stand beside Stavian. Double kill. Triple kill. Quad damage. Gym is ruined. Blood is everywhere. Half of your classmates are maimed. Are you happy? Here, you have three money as you loot or something. Oh. Unintended happy side effects. It's a dating game and you killed a bunch of people. How should I know what to give you? Valid. But maybe charm? All right. Well, it's this. about to be it's about to be time. So that's all the time that we've got for right now. Take care everybody. <laughs>